name is George Seka Seka, and uh, here it uh, run, and here we dwell with talent uh, because uh, we take this type of a pool of talent. We also have different talent from uh, acting, from uh, singing, from um, uh, art and design. So we have all those. So we decided to come together so to embrace this thing to see if this thing can help one another yeah because we know talent talent can do wonders when it well taken out. yeah and when we have the resources to uplift us from where we are at the moment yeah i feel like if you guys have a lot of talents in acting and in art the kenyan government should be distributing at least the computer parts or the the money for it because you can you guys are really close to china it's, and the youtube tutorial can teach you how to build a computer when i was around 15 i used to make videos i used to edit audio video and photos and literally just by posting on youtube i made around like four hundred dollars a month so that's what forty thousand shillings yeah well, mm-hmm. yeah a month just being connected to the internet regardless of where you are you can make a lot of money because you're connected to everyone in the world. Everyone here in Kenya especially, we have 85% electricity. You have a lot of internet. People will consume your content if it's good. Yeah. And you just got to keep on doing it. You guys are young, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you yeah. guys, if you if you guys have the talent, as you say, uh-huh. and I, I don't doubt that, yeah. you guys can do a lot of big things yeah. it's on the internet. It's technology. Yeah, and, the, and then on the side of technology, as you say, I think if we get the resources and then we get like a, someone to teach these people the skill of doing the technology, because we have skill, no, but we don't have that resources like the computer. Mm. Because when I have one computer, maybe it's in my house, you know, and up in my house, I have one room. For me to accommodate this, my friend, like 10 friends, that room, it become tired. Huh? But you know, an open place like this one, if you get even three computers, we can just sit and uh, we teach each other. Each other. You know, so I think uh, uh, that's the, 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 the technology is a good, it's a good uh, project. But for us to get it, we need to be helped. It's heavy on ourselves. So the, the government needs to be helping. But the, yeah, the There's government free internet and free libraries, free computers. Yeah, that's what I used to use. My parents didn't have that much money when I went to Texas. I would spend days in the library just messing with the internet. You can. You, but I, you, I've self-taught myself everything. I never had a mentor. Just googling and watching videos. You can learn literally everything. Uh-huh. We just need the resources from the government. Yeah, but our government, again, when you go to the cyber, there is a cash you need to pay. So it's to serve. It's not free. It's free. I think what these yeah. guys are trying to say is if they can stand on themselves to yeah. have their own internet. Like, yeah. for example, in my case, I, I have my personal internet. So for them, they may not, they have the electricity, but they don't have the internet. Uh, the, the, what do you call uh, these router. routers? Uh, so oh. if they can get that router uh, one uh, for the internet, and then they get one computer to use it here. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the Wi-Fi kind of a thing. Yeah. And then from there now they need skills. What kind of skills do you want them to have? You know that for them to to learn from the internet, probably they may be limited in the idea of talent and whatever. Mm. The one the one tool I feel like everyone should be able to use is Google. Because Google. through Google I've learned literally everything I. Okay. ever wanted to we just need to get i feel like we need to start manufacturing electronics here you can buy and source literally cheap parts you can build your own router if you really wanted to for less than 100 us dollars okay i feel like we just need the we just need tutors okay because what i'm learning in college is very applicable to life here so muuliza maswali ni kama tumekwama ama namna gani so this is peter who connected us to to know these guys here and peter through the bucket ministry we preached to him and he got baptized and he has a bucket and then he introduced the idea of he has this team of group yeah. and they have several ideas but they are not decided what they really need to do i've been watching their uh, photos they have several ideas so I, for me i was like what is it really that they can do maybe you can tell us something okay for now uh, 
actually uh, last week we were shooting a documentary about the, the street. I have some photos here on my phone. So right now we are measuring into helping the youth here in the street because most of them, since they are idle, they, they might get themselves into crime. And at the end of it, the, the results. They have no real skills separate. Yes. Yes. So they end up being murdered. So that's why I came up with this idea. Together with my group, so please help me give them a second chance through Jesus Christ. Yes. So that's now the, the work that we are doing through Love Foundation. We are a partner from the Bucket Ministry. Yes. Do you think if someone set up a building here with uh, free internet and a lot of free computers, <laughs> and someone was here to, because for me, uh, Especially math, I did not take any interest in it. I failed Algebra 1 and 2. Until I saw an applicable use for it, I didn't care. I feel like if we could uh, teach people useful skills, like especially building video games, you learn every aspect of computers. Mm -hmm. from, uh, from video to audio, literally everything. I feel like uh, we need more investments in technology because that's where the world is going. Yes. And a lot of the things you guys are talking about, like the documentaries, very, very useful. <laughs> and sent to me on WhatsApp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's shared to me on WhatsApp. So we, we also have some some gaming gaming places up there in the road, but you have to pay in order for you to play. You have to pay in order for you to use Wi-Fi. But here in the village, we have some people who have Wi-Fi. But in order for you to to get connected, you must have a router. But again, you have to, to agree with the person who is selling the Wi-Fi, so that at least at the end of the month, you have to pay something in order for to get the connection. So money is the under underlying. Suppose we we like kind of set up a training center here for these young people on uh, technology. I think they are kind of they use they are trying to use the technology, mm -hmm. but. Uh, they themselves do not have this, the knowledge of how to work with the computers. Maybe probably we can see, think of setting up a center for the Kipra youths to teach them on technology and, uh, and other skills. Those who are sharp can go forward to programming and other skills like that. And if we could, they could give back to the community by tutoring. Yeah. Because I tutor children how to make video games. Okay. That's really what I do to make free money in my free time. These guys are teaching the children how to draw. Just this kind of hard so that they are, they are, they are doing something. Yeah. So that's what they are doing. That's how the recycled water. The draws us. You are so you drew. Yeah, the fashion over here is really nice. Yeah. So that's the whole idea right now. Because you have lot of business FL Studio, we can teach how to do that too. But now, the, the, major, the major problem now is that we don't have the equipment to do so. So we are, we are trying right now to save at least to see if we can, if we can be able to afford that money so that we can sit and is it, is it very easy for you guys to get a PO box to mail in things here? Yes. What, what you can do, I want you to write a work plan. Like, for example, first thing we need to do first, we want to buy maybe one computer, or and then we second... You don't have to buy them, I can make them. You can make them? I can make them for like a uh, very lower price than it is to buy it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're very close that's, to China. That's interesting. interesting. <laughs> that's interesting. So I have been talking with these guys that uh, the best thing we can do is let's know who you are, mm -hmm. let's know the, the, the people, and we want to know the right people. If you know someone is not uh, born again, is still engaging in crimes, and so we need to be sure who is who. We need to have a, a clear mark. We need to know the right guys who can work well with you. Then we come together. We have we talk together on a serious note. Then we proceed because now having an investment in a place where they are still in security will not make sense. So it is the first thing first. Are you able to identify yourself? and say, okay, this is the real team, this is how we are going to put, uh, put security here. And uh, because you are the people who know the, the, the crown, okay? Then from there, our brother, we can connect with him and then and we throw it. Then we do something serious from him. Then it's going to impact the entire Kipra community. 
I think that is good. Yes, actually, right now, my team, me and together with my team, at least I've seen an impact in them because before we met them, they, they used to engage themselves in those bad activities. But at least right now, I've been able to reach to over 15, okay. 15 years. Okay. And I'm sure, I'm 100% sure that they are, they are true. Okay. Yes. They have changed, eh? They have changed. changed. Uh, like through changed. the bucket or something? Yes, through the bucket. When you got the bucket filter, mm -hmm. you've been able to share with them the love of Christ yes. and uh, bring them closer to God after I got baptized. That's a positive change. Yes. Yeah. That's a positive change. Mm -hmm. But I think what we need to do, Pastor, is that we just need to help your people to that discipleship stuff, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. just need to help you to grow into it because you see, you just got born again, you've now known Christ, but we now need to have a consistent program where we can disciple you into walking into the reality of these things. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's, 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 it's yes, a good a good program for the slum from where I'm, a very good program. Yeah. yeah. Really if you guys it. say the skills that you want, I can mm. I can provide the, the teaching how to make things. Wow. I don't think I can spend that much time here. I as a programmer I work usually around twelve hours a day. I'm I'm used to hard work. And a lot of the things I'm doing is problem solving. So I feel like if I just get an overview of what you guys want, I can help you. I can teach you the skills on how to let me build the computers. Building a computer doesn't take really much. It's a YouTube tutorial and you do step by step. The part sourcing is I think is the issue here because people like to middleman. And people really like to haggle here. I'm like I went to my auntie's place in Elderit and I was really surprised that these people uh, my 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 aunt, she doesn't buy things from like online like Amazon, yeah. which have a set price and then they have reputations for the stores. Yes. I feel like if, if people here can have PO boxes, we can definitely send things over here. Yeah. We can teach a few people how to build the computers. Yeah. And once we get enough of them built, yeah, we can load the software on them. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Windows Windows 11 is free, so yeah. the software isn't an issue. Yeah. And you can you can very easily find free software. Yeah. If I can teach people how to teach other people, yeah, we can do like an exponential growth of things. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. These guys, uh, what do you need guys. to do first? Yeah, I, I, we want to have a meeting with these guys. Yes. And as uh, I told them before, yeah. we want to know exactly who are we, who are we dealing, dealing with. with. Uh -huh. Just come there. forward. We, we form, work together. Yes. And you know, in our bucket ministry, we, apart from the fielder, we do discipleship. We try to teach you yes. to grow. How to grow. Yes. How, how, how to grow mm -hmm. And also how to be a responsible person. Mm -hmm. And uh, to avoid you ourselves. So we want to recommend you. So what we are going to do is get the, the meeting together. We recommend you in a way that is going to bring even the director to come and listen to your stories. Mm. And now through him we can now come in and we see what is to, to be done. Mm. I think that is the best Thank strategy. You so, much, yes, that's very great. so you organize your team. You we have a meeting. Through what Pastor is saying, eh? mm. you can organize yourself, get to know so you understand yourself. So, so through your leadership, eh, can be brought together as Pastor is saying, and then with the help of the bucket ministry, we can come on board and then help you to be disciples, even as we connect with him to see how, how you can be trained. That can be a great breakthrough in your life. Because you see, you can impact them, they will train and they will go all over Africa. Because what you are saying is it's a big stuff, man. And the they, they can train yeah, the skills yeah, if you impart into them, they can do this yeah, then they go to other slums in Kenya yeah. and also train other youths. And before you know it, they are going all over Africa and they are really, it becomes mm -hmm. a big stuff, you know? Yeah. And these people could work worldwide because I know yeah, that, that's what I'm saying, yeah. The skills you learn, especially in video editing software, yes, yes. you can sell those like to anywhere in the world. Someone in America could hire your services and you can get wow. paid the in amount that they pay. Yeah. Okay. You could work right here in the slums making Yes. A lot of money. money. Online. And your the services internet connection are being, is all you need. Yeah. yeah. And then you, 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 like your services are being added in the US and you're here mm -hmm. and they're still paying you online. Mm -hmm. That's great. And before. with the, with cryptocurrencies, you can, it's, it's very easy to like yeah. get money instantly. Okay. You don't have to wait through bank transactions anymore. We're, we're really revolution. This is a big revolution in technology. Yeah, okay. We need to have Africa be a part of it. Wow. Especially Kenya, we have 85% electricity compared to other places in East Africa, we're number one. Wow, in East Africa? Somalia has 9% electricity. Uh, I think uh, Ethiopia has less than 50%. We're at, I think, 85%. Okay. Tanzania? Tanzania is lower. 
we're at a really good condition. Okay. So thank you, oh, brother. Thank you so much, Raymond. Raymond. Oh. What is the other name? Keep chip chip. Keep chip Thank you, Raymond. Keep chip chip. Uh, to be with us. The reason we brought you here is because we had come to talk with these guys and we felt that we need to do something. Uh, personally, yes, I told you I come from far, but when I came here and I looked at the environment, I feel like I should do something that is going to change the people. And uh, I can't do it myself, but I can connect you like I've done. And when something is done, I feel part of the, the success. I think that is the, the most important thing. And as we do that, we'll be able to change the society and uh, we will have reduced crime rates here yeah. and uh, we have uh, improved economy yeah. and uh, and so many other yeah, improved uh, lifestyle for example this guy this is the office yeah. if you can see i i don't imagine you have ever worked in an office yeah, this is like office. this this is the office this is the whole office that they have and uh, oh, yeah. this it's, is nice it's, because i make all my money from home yeah i don't really even go to an office yeah <laughs> so an internet connection if there's internet connection they can do something yeah so, so I think they, they get them a router or something. Pardon? Oh, so a router would be very yeah. nice. Yeah. A router and a really good desktop. Yeah. Good memory. Aruda. Yeah. A lot of the computers they sell here. I remember my uncle, my uncle Dennis. He got a, a computer from China that said for sale in Africa. Yeah. Within a month, that thing broke. The memory is not enough. <laughs> okay. So to really ensure the quality, we need to we need to get parts. And I mean, Microsoft is here in Kenya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we really talk to them, I'm pretty sure the tax write-off would be would be good for them, especially if they're helping people. So what I can say in conclusion, you have two things to consider. <coughs> you have the, the youth project that is uh, for these guys and it's going to impact to other youths in Kenya. And then the issue of the security with the other the leader. So that. when you have those two issues, you can go and you can, you can discuss, uh, discuss and uh, program yourself or now we can yeah. go about it. We can always uh, have a WhatsApp group. Uh -huh. We can create a WhatsApp group for Mm -hmm. all of us mm -hmm. that you can get that communication yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah but also sir, as you say about the security issue even when it comes to the ground that now it has to be installed in the slums this will be our people that will be security. Used. yeah that will yeah. Can help us in installing them. yeah yes yeah. yeah, our guys on the ground yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's well so thank you guys yeah. hope to see you next time okay. mm.